What's going on everybody? Welcome to the Neg Entropy Chronicles. I'm back with another video. So remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe and click that notification bell to be alerted anytime I drop a new video. So, Micaiah Bryan and the conflicting story on how this started. Now, when I get into this story, I want y'all to understand something. I've done multiple stories on this already. One talking about the police officer, the second video talking about the father. Check those videos out. This one is about the mother, foster mother. So the lady that was in the beginning of one of those interviews talking about she was just such a sweet kid, all of these things, a loving heart, beautiful spirit, is the one that called the girls to come beat her up. All right, let's, let's get right into it. She's the one that called these grown women. These are not girls, these are not children. These were grown women. One of them was 28 years old. And this had been going on for three days where these girls had kept coming back. Now, who are these women? I said girls, I keep saying girls, it's just not supposed to be said like that. But these grown women were also foster children of this woman. Now, I'm gonna hold the woman accountable for this situation too because obviously her skills of raising these children are poor, all right? You got two grown women coming to fight a 16 year old. Where does that even work? I'm gonna call y'all to come fight a teenager. She's a horrible foster mother. Like, I mean, come on now, like who does that? Not come talk to her, not come just situate, get this situated because this all started over an unmade bed. Can you imagine that? An unmade bed escalated to people uh, you know almost getting stabbed and one getting killed an unmade bed that's a chaotic lifestyle chaotic group and this woman is a foster mother and she's producing this type of chaos i can get you want your kid to clean a room we all do come on now like let's be real hey man you gotta clean this up this is terrible got to get this under control but to escalate to where you're calling people numerous days to come fight a child shows problems. Not only that, the father can show up not to have her leave, but instead stand there so she can come out and fight. That was the only time the girl felt safe was to come outside and fight. Now, she wasn't the one. We all been saying Makai was the one that called allegedly it was another foster sister who called but she had called her father and as the father arrived she felt safe enough to come out right i've also heard audio not from the police cam or body cam uh there was a video that was taped from across the street now it might have been like a vivid or something like that but you hear this is my mama house and all of that stuff and that's when the chaos ensued as the cop pulled up and was walking up the girl was walking out of the house at the same time so they were walking up at the same time and the girl is well this woman is screaming and yelling and then boom that's when it escalates so as the cops walking up he's walking into something that's starting so he doesn't even get an opportunity to adjust to it but this foster mother is playing it off like she don't know what happened or she's not giving any information. Because truth be told, her, them grown women, that grown that father, all of them are they're all they're all accountable. And they're the reason for her for her death. They really are. Because you can't tell me, oh well, the police. No, if those individuals would have been grown ups and actually helped the child instead of sending people to fight her, it would have had a different outcome. You understand? This is a foster child. There's no telling what type of emotional problem she was having. Just being a foster child, being in the system, things like that. And the only time her dad is going to show up is when she's about to fight. I don't know how many times he shows up, but he doesn't have custody of her, which shows something in itself. You see what I mean? Now, people can look at me crazy. I don't care. We got to start holding people accountable instead of diverting the attention to the police officer who's responding at the end of the chaos. What was happening before that? Why aren't these people being held accountable? This is pure foolishness. You called grown folks to come beat up a child. What does that say? 
Now, people can say, oh, well, you know, that happens, you know, because the older brothers and sisters come and handle that. What? Once again, the first thing shouldn't be violence. And it shouldn't be something where it's set up to where now y'all got to look at yourselves. I'm telling you, this, it, the, and these are people who all knew each other. Foster children, previous foster kids, grown folks, all of it. Pure madness. And we're going to act like it's the cops' fault. That, that mother called, I want y'all to really think about it. That mother called people to come beat up a 16 year old. We thinking it's some random people, just people who've been trying to beat her up. Oh, was it from school or was it from this? Probably over a boy, whatever, whatever things that we were thinking or whatnot. It was over an unmade bed. Think about the escalation in the, 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 trauma to dra dramatic aspects of it you talk about going from zero to a hundred we're talking about an unmade bed led to somebody's death y'all really need to think about that because the truth of the matter is our life should be worth more period that's what it should be worth more we should be able to think these things through not go to instant violence because people said or did something it's a child like what what are we what do we keep forgetting that this 16 year old girl you know what i mean like the 16 year old girl but be on the lookout for more videos everybody have a good day peace